This talk is inspired by somebody where I mentioned the swastika laundry in Dublin the other day. I think they thought I was actually making it up because it sounds so ludicrous if you've never heard of it. It is actually real, as I shall actually prove here in a minute. Let's bring up a screen or two for that. You'll have to excuse me mucking about with Zoom here a bit, which is a, the most annoying program, I must admit, for this. Here we have the National Archives of Ireland. Behind the scenes, the Swastika Laundry. The Swastika Laundry was founded by John W. Britton. He had been born in Manor Hamilton, County Leitrim, in 1871 and spent his early years in, ben in Belfast. A pioneer in laundry development in, La in Ireland, he was one of the founders of the Metropolitan White Heath Laundry Forms in Dublin at the, last, at the turn of the last century, and he established the Swastika Laundry in Ballsbridge in 1912. I should point out he wasn't the only person to use the swastika as a symbol for laundries in this era. You'll find quite a few American firms using it as well. It was just considered a sign of good luck. It didn't have the odious after effects that it would acquire due to the Third Reich's regime attached to it. So you'll find it on things like uh, reading cards, aviators, crosses, all sorts of things from this period. Here's an article from the BBC about it and how it was hijacked. You'll see here how it's used in Indian culture. It's still used in Indian culture and has never acquired the sort of element of evil it has here. But as I scroll down this article, you'll notice some quite amusing bits. I'll put a link to this article so you can read it as it goes into some detail about the history of it in Indian tradition. This is not in India, this elephant. This elephant is actually the Carlsberg factory entrance. Carlsberg once used a swastika as their symbol. In Hindu tradition, as you can see, the swastika is used fairly frequently, such as festive occasions at weddings. Imagine sticking that up, though, if you didn't, in a place where people didn't realize that it was not meant that way. And here you have it, the Hinduism, the swastika cross, a, a symbol of religious devotion. Unfortunately, due to the wonderful perversion of it by the Third Reich, people don't always realise that. It was actually used quite a lot in Christianity as well in the past. And this, unfortunately, means is not something that people realise. So when you say something like, should you try the swastika, it's not actually that anything evil going on there. It's from another e more innocent era when, unfortunately, it was simply an innocent sign used for it. For example, these little red vans that wandered around Dublin for many years were part of um, the Swastika Laundry's fleet. Nowadays, they look rather more sinister and almost a bit comical in a, in a blackly humorous way. Um, they were just a pioneer early electric vans in their era, and the company's owners thought they were kind of far ahead of their time by using them to be environmentally friendly, which is ironic, really, given current situations and current concerns about ecology. But they do have a certain, well, mordant humour about them. But they were Swastiki Laundry was a, a real enough company and went on until well into the 1980s. You can see its headquarters here if I enlarge this Wikipedia article and enlarge the page. This was its sort of um, headquarters, which I preserved now as a listed building. There's also a swastika tower. I couldn't find a great shot of that, where the tower itself has swastikas on it. So it's a real enough building and a real enough institution, bizarre as it may sound.